government agencies, nonprofits, disaster relief organizations, everybody really scrambling to assist communities ravaged by these deadly tornadoes. Kentucky State Representative Richard Heath, who represents that hard hit town of Mayfield and has lived there his whole life, joins us now for more. And, and Richard, thank you very much for being with us. Our hearts go out to you. Uh, you know, tell us what you're seeing on the ground. Yes, obviously I've been watching the pictures from your program and, and the pictures are telling the story. It's it's complete devastation. The uh, courthouse is gone, City Hall, the um, uh, several churches, you know, the, these are churches that have been there for a hundred years. They're historic buildings and, and they're, they're destroyed. Um, downtown business, you know, what was left of the court square and, and um, the businesses up and down West Broadway, the buildings, you know, have been there a long time and, and had um, a lot of historic value and sentimental value. They're gone. Um, just just a lot of devastation. Uh, houses, businesses, restaurants, you, you name it. It's it's gone right out of the heart of Mayfield. And and Richard, am I right that this is this is your hometown? Yeah, that you this is where you've lived your whole life, yeah? Yes, I was born and raised in Graves County. Mayfield is the county seat. That's our hub. That's where we go to for everything, you know. So, yeah, that's it's, um, it's my home. home now. So, what what are you going through? We saw the, the 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 governor talk about how traumatic this is, how difficult this is. How are you doing? I'm good. I've been uh, downtown Mayfield um, since the storm blew through Friday night and. Was, was there yesterday. I'm, I'm actually back at my business today, manning my phone from here. I'm getting texts and emails and people are asking specific questions on, you know, how can they help? What can they donate? Who can they donate to? And, and I'm trying to cover that from here. Uh, our business was spared. We did not have any damage. Um, I live five miles east of Mayfield. And um, so I'm back in my office trying to not only take care of our business this morning, but continue to help with relief efforts where I can. And and Rich, tell us about the the relief efforts, city, state, federal response uh, efforts. There, are they how are they going? Do you feel that they're on track? Are you getting the help that, that that these communities need? I'm impressed with the response. I was in meetings yesterday with with uh, a group of people, including the governor and, and FEMA and emergency response and. FEMA's on top of this, that they're, they're bringing trucks of fuel in to keep generators uh, fueled up and powered. Uh, TVA is bringing in diesel generators to help uh, where there's power added outages in uh, at businesses and um, hospital. And uh, we lost a water tower. Uh, don't know how long it's gonna take to get water restored. Uh, we lost a sewage treatment plant. It's gonna take a while to get that going again. And um, Chris, you can see from your video the, the down power lines have broken telephone poles. It takes a while to put all that infrastructure back in place. But um, we have uh, volunteer crew trucks coming in from across the state and, and out of state to help put poles and power lines back up. And those are very much appreciated. The, um, the outpouring of uh, support has been tremendous. And, and Richard, you're a, a community leader, an elected community leader there having lived there your whole life. How, how are the people responding? Um, the, the ones I've interacted with are um, rolling up their sleeves and going to work and um, just taking care of business. Uh, just the first steps in a long process. Um, there's uh, volunteers manning um, um, relief stations and um, warming centers and preparing meals, um, trying to get the basic supplies to the people that, that need it. And um, it's a totally a, a community effort. The uh, judge executive, the mayor, the fire chief, the city chief, uh, you know, chief of police, uh, state troopers, they're all the National Guard. It's it's truly a uh, community effort. And, and the national one as well. We'll all put our shoulders to the wheel, I hope in the months and years ahead to help Kentucky and the other yes. hard-hit states get back on, on track. Kentucky State Representative Richard Heath, thanks very much for taking the time this morning. Good luck to you. Thank you for having me.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.